I mean, this mentally would be devastating, I feel like, if they caught him back now for him. He's got to keep that distance. You see them trying to maneuver t through some of the soft ground. All right, good Saturday morning. Uh, big day. Big day on the calendar. Big weekend on the calendar. Uh, my high schoolers have their final meet of the season, uh, the North Coast Section Championships, the qualifying meet to state. Um, but it's a busy day out there in the running world. Uh, we have the three divisions of NCAA championships that are going off this morning. The North Face 50 here in the Bay Area um, is currently midway uh, over there across the Bay in the Headlands. You got JFK on the, on the East Coast that I got to track because you know you got folks that, that you love to follow in that race. And then, I mean, I don't know what's here. Yeah, it's just, this is big. Oh, and then tomorrow we have Pacific Cross Country Championships. So, a lot of excitement in the running world happening. I have about 45 minutes until I have to be at NCS and link up with my youngins so we can get the ball rolling, um, which is exactly the same time as Williams is towing the line at Div 3 and CAAs. So, it's going to be a lot of Twitter stalking while I tell the kids to go, like warm up and stuff. It'll be good. It's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long weekend. We're going to have some fun out there. Let's get out. even at a cross country meet, sometimes you want to wear trail shoes. Yeah. It's time. All right, should probably explain what we're doing here. So, don't have the full contingent. You may remember from the league champs uh, that it was going to be the completion race for for most of the team. Uh, basically, anybody who made all league, uh, which ended up being two guys and two girls, I brought to NCS, gave them an extra two weeks of training. Um, and honestly, the last two weeks have been some of the best workouts and overall efforts that I've seen from them all season. So I'm pretty excited about what they're going to be able to pull off. Uh, it rained earlier this week, so the conditions may be a little bit murky like they were at League Champs, but I think from a competitive standpoint and an overall confidence standpoint, they've been a really nice spot, so. All right, ready to go? <laughs> Look at that, Sass. All right. Well, my alarm didn't ring, so I woke up like at 8.37. Atta girl. This is Polina Podpova from Doherty Valley, the junior, followed very closely by teammate Last year's defending champ, our last year's champion, was Mita Guell from Doherty Valley. Strong show from Doherty Valley. Yeah, yeah, so I want you to go, it's going to be a little bit longer of a start in terms of the, the aggressive off the line aspect of it. So go 20 to 30 seconds. Um, basically, you should be settling in when you get to about their version of J Hall. Oh, okay. All right, so like once you're there, then like find your rhythm. So find your rhythm, stay light. The most important thing, especially on those back loops with the entire course today, is stay light. Keep that turnover up. That's the, that's the goal. If you do that, you're going to be in phenomenal shape. Stay relaxed on the hill. Work with the San Leandro girls. Get it. Go with them. Shake out the arms. Shake out the arms. Shake out the arms. All right. Good, 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 good. Great. You're looking great. Eyes on her. Work through that gap. Work through that group. Work through that group. Arms. Arms. Arms, 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 bubble, 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 bubble. Right there. there you go. Get on! That side is going to merge in super hard to the, because the way that the spectators line up over there, they're going to come in super early. So be super mindful of what happens on your right side. So if you aim for the tree, control. Just make sure that you guys like quick steps to that section. And then if I say to queue up and like keep your eyes on somebody in front of you, do it. All right. We're going for places as much as we're going for times. All right, but I'm going to be a much better judge of your pace than you are in the middle of the race. So don't worry about the times. Worry about competing around the folks next to you. I'll put you in a position to reach whatever your time goal is. But at the end of the day, you don't qualify for state based on time. You qualify for state based on place. So get out there and be aggressive. Make moves, Caesar. Strong now. You got to go now. Well, it's partly. 
Sparling hurts. Sparling hurts. Oh. Smart run, smart run. Stick on that pack. <sighs> all right, let's wrap on NCS. I think all things considered, uh, can't be can't be upset with how today went. Definitely competed against the competition that they had, which is cross country. Like that's fundamentally racing. Conditions are going to change even if you run the course over and over. Is that would signify? So the times will change, but all you got to do is is toe the line and go against go against the folks you're with and just like do some actual racing and it's going to work out. So. Happy with it. Now I'm tired as hell. And kinda hungry. So we're gonna knock that out. See if I can get to the north face, finish line, hang out, or just vomit straight over to the deuce. Shocker. A few moments later. Must take nap. Ugh. longer than it should have been it's four hours later woo time to make moves oh man necessary but now we gotta get to Mill Valley let's do it uh. Uh, this weekend's a little bittersweet in the grand scheme of things because obviously the high school has wrapped up the cross country season today and after you've been sort of involved with folks trying to make progress for you know almost three months it's kind of it's kind of weird to just like have that conclude like okay good luck so so that's that's always a, a interesting time and you know I'm happy with how they perform this season but then I'm also happy to have two hours a day back I suppose to get back to my own running uh, going into Pacific champs tomorrow definitely I'm not in the shape that I would have planned on being in uh, most of that's attributable more so to the whole heart issues and doing that whole uh, hospital run in mid-October for a couple of weeks there. Um, I am okay. Got got the clean bill of health. But uh, it was touch and go there for a moment, trying to check in and make sure that those super high heart rates I was getting in races where I was averaging, you know, over 190 for a 20 plus minute effort, uh, making sure that wasn't a sign of something larger. Um, but but got the all clear, I just have a hummingbird heart. And so uh, lost some weeks of training as we were trying to figure that out. Not in great shape going into Pacific tomorrow, but you know, it's just gonna be fun to, to blow it out one more time, just completely shred my legs. And then have basically two months of just focusing on my own running uh, getting back into the shape that I want to be hopefully doing some road stuff maybe uh, a half marathon maybe knocking out a road marathon uh, sometime early in the track season just so I can have my BQ for 2019 um, and then and then some other things coming down the pipe so uh, stay tuned details forthcoming but uh, run flat stay low is about to be a very 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 apt mantra for what I'm about to get into. Yeah, yeah. Have a good one. <laughs> All right, successfully made it to Mill Valley. Gonna hit up the taco spot before dropping into the deuce. <laughs> Unintentional wordplay, dropping into the deuce. Thank you. Uh, yeah, but I should probably eat before catch up with people, especially since I'm running in the AM. And I notoriously do not do not eat good breakfasts on the morning across country. 11:10, finally getting out of the deuce. Always good to catch up with folks. Uh, always good to meet new people. You know, you see a lot of folks on social media, and you know you like their posts and you follow them and you read their blogs and everything, but to uh, to actually connect with them in, in person for the first time is always good. So. Really, really enjoy filling the cup of the uh, Ultra Spirit. And now, time to hop to the city, see if I can catch up with some folks down there who uh, are keeping it social and then try to rest up for cross country gnats because it's a weekend and 
we can we can start for raging. Pew, pew, pew. Just before 2.30, now Sunday morning, and you know what, not feeling, uh, not feeling too worse for wear, but, yeah, tomorrow's still gonna hurt, doesn't matter what happens, but it was good, it was good to catch up with folks at the Deuce, gonna hit the November project, catch up some of the Phoenix folks, the San Francisco folks, and, uh, you know, it really highlights the community that exists in the running world so it's good very solid very solid now I need to get some semblance of rest because this race tomorrow is going to hurt it's gonna be bad Ugh. it's all right we're gonna be okay what's the worst that could happen <laughs>